Capone Tone here, and welcome to part 62 of my Final Fantasy VII walkthrough slash playthrough. We are now going to get to some chocobo breeding. This will be part one of my 101 lesson to chocobo breeding. And the first thing we must do at the chocobo farm is talk to the chocobo bill about buying all the stables that we can afford. And there are six total that we can buy, so that'll just cost you 60 grand in gill. And you will own 10 chocobo stables. Take care of them. And you're gonna have to do this same conversation five other times. Rinse it. Alright, now I'm just gonna uh, speed through it. <laughs> you don't need to read this shit again. That's number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. And number six. So yep, that's the first thing you need is 60 grand in gill to get all the staples. Now we are going to leave and go catch us some chocobos. Some great chocobos to be precise. First thing you need to do is equip the chocobo lure materia. I guess we'll put it on cloud. What should I get rid of? Okay. Oops. There we go. Alright. Now, since my Chocobo Lure Materia is very low level, it's only level 1, it's going to be pretty tough to catch great Chocobos. It takes a long time. I cut out a ton of battles at Medeal to catch this stupid Chocobo. <laughs> you can catch great Chocobos here or at the Gold Saucer. And I cut out a lot of battles, probably at least 10 to 15. Before I finally got the Chocobo Battle. And you can know it's a great chocobo if it has that purplish, whitish slug next to him. Kill it real fast, and then you'll catch a chocobo. And this is a great one. But yeah, again, it takes a while. It takes patience. So we caught it. Send it back to the stables. And now we're going to do it again. After a bunch of battles, uh, we finally got another uh, great chocobo. And while we uh, were doing regular battles, we uh, leveled up a lot too. So yep, it's got two purplish slugs next to it, killing really quick. And you will get the chocobo. If it has like green slugs with it, it's not a great chocobo. It's a really crappy one, I think. So what you need now is for these chocobos to be the opposite sex. One needs to be male, the other needs to be female. But once you catch two of them, just head back to the chocobo farm. And park your high wind outside. You want to save the game first. So in case they, if they are the opposite, or not the opposite sex, you can just reload the game and try it again. That's the very key thing about this side quest. Save before you do something important. So move your chocobos into the stables. This is a great chocobo, that's what you want, put it in. It's male, okay. Since it's male, let's name it. Capone! Alright, that's good. Now let's move the other one in. It's also great. Put it in. It's female! Perfect! And let's name this one... Pwn! Because it's gonna get Pwn! Ha! Get it? Nah, I'm just kidding. But now, once you get both of them in the stables, leave, and we're going to take a trip up north. So 
to visit the Chocobo Sage. We visited them earlier. We actually didn't talk to them though. We just got the enemy skill material that was there. But this time we're actually going to have a conversation with them and buy some expensive ass greens to feed our Chocobos. So park, head inside. And talk to this whatever the hell he is. <laughs> Floating purple thing with a beard <laughs> and a funny hat. Oh, yeah, they used to call me the Chocobo Sage. What can I do for you? Sell me something. Alright, buy as many silkus grains as possible. Got 41. Should be good enough for a while. If you need some quick money, just master an all materia and sell it, you'll make 1.4 million gil. Fastest way to get money in this game. But now we're gonna fly right back to Chocobo Farm. On my next part, I'm gonna cut out a lot of these fly back and forth parts, because you already will get it by the time you watch this video. So we're really going to dumb it down and speed it up next time. Alright, let's speed. Silk screens. Feed each of these chocobos 10 silk screens. That should be good enough for them to uh, do well in the races. Speed plus, stamina plus, intelligence plus, and they're getting along better. And do the same thing for the other chocobo. Silk screens and ten more. Speed plus, stamina plus, intelligence plus, and they're getting along better as well. That's what we'd like to see. Now once you are done with that, leave. Now it's time to fly to the Gold Saucer, the great amusement park that we haven't been to in quite a while. It's on the eastern continent, near Coral, or western continent I mean. Head inside, uh, head inside uh, North Coral. to the left and like before take the ropeway to the gold saucer yeah like I said on my next part I'm really gonna cut out a lot of these parts where it's traveling back and forth just to shorten the video a lot but you'll still completely understand what to do And while I'm here, we have to race our chocobos a lot of times. Um, I'm just going to show one race for each type of chocobo I have. And we have to buy our ticket first. I unfortunately spent all our money on green, so I'm still too poor to buy the season pass. But like I said, um, we're going to do a lot of races. For me, I'm going to do six races each for each of these chocobos to get them both to A rank. Um, I'm just going to show one race on, our, on the highest rank I can do right now, which is B. And there's no point in showing all the races, it takes a long ass time. And remember Esther from very early in the game helped you escape Desert Prison. Let's race Capone, C rank, yeah. Do the short one always to shorten this process. But this is actually a B race, I just edited the video. The last B race. And to do well in these races, just hold um, just hold all the L and R buttons. I forgot which one regains your stamina, if it's L1 and R1 or L2 and R2. But hold those for the entire race so you will regain stamina. And just uh, run 
when you got enough stamina. <laughs> it's pretty easy, it's simple as that. Later on, once you get the faster chocobos, like the black one, you won't even have to touch anything. Like, they will literally just smoke the competition like it's nothing. But right now, for B rank, it's somewhat of a close race. I'm still kicking their ass, though. But yeah, the silk of screens is what causing them to go fast and be smart on the track. If you don't feed them greens, they'll just run around and do whatever. Plus, they won't have as much stamina or speed. And we finish the race. First place, bitches. And we'll wait for him to get here. Slow pokes. And while you do these races, you will get a ton of GP, which is gold saucer points. You'll need those for the battle arena later on to get Omni Slash and W Summon. And usually you're going to take the GP almost every time. And now I have Chocobo's A rank, and I cut the next part out of my other Chocobo winning her six races, and now she is in A rank. So once you get both your Chocobos in A rank, you can finally leave the Gold Saucer and go back to the station. Once you get both your Chocobos A rank, go back to the Chocobo farm, and now it's time to breed these guys. You see that guy way in the background? You can uh, exchange your gill for GP if you want. He uh, rarely comes out though. Let's go! Get in the high wind, and now it's time to go back to the Chocobo farm. Actually, no, not yet. I actually have one more thing to do before we do that. Go to the Bone Village area and run around until you get a battle with a particular enemy. Come on! Alright. And now for this uh, enemy, you need it to be that dinosaur looking creature, and you need to steal from him. You want to steal the carob nut. That is the nut that you need to breed in order to get the special chocobos. Now I'll just kill this guy. He has a ton of HP, but he doesn't really do much damage. Come on, you bastard. <laughs> Sid just effed him up. Alright, now we got the carob nut. Now, we can finally head back to Chocobo Farm. Alright, park, and the first thing you do, save the game. I cannot stress that enough. <laughs> you want to have many tries at getting the right chocobo because you're gonna not get the what you want a lot of the time so save every single time you're before you breed chocobos all right now mate which two are you gonna mate well obviously the only two that are in the stables dumbass this one and this one go ahead which nut use the carob nut that we stole from that dinosaur yep and now let's see what we get. It's a mountain chocobo! Female! And we're gonna be very original and name it Green. So original, right? Alright, that's gonna complete part one of my chocobo breeding 
101 class and part 62 of my Final Fantasy 7 walkthrough slash playthrough. And if you like our videos, follow us at Facebook at facebook.com slash awkwardponers or at Twitter at twitter.com slash awkwardponers.